it's iconic, it's unusual. The Sky Garden makes it for me. We maintained a, a programme of building a floor per week and all of a sudden this building emerged onto the London skyline and took its place amongst the rest of the city. I do love this building, I think it's very unique and I think it's a building that sits very well within this context. The brief from Land Securities and Canary Wharf was to create a, a unique building and maximise the tenant space and offer the best views, the best services which would be uh, required by a tenant. The main features of the building really the, the, the sky garden, it's a pretty spectacular uh, sky garden and the shape and form of the building um, and the fact that you've got this uh, concave uh, facade on the north and the south elevations and this convex shape on the east and the west elevations. As you go up into the sky, the building sort of swells as you get, as you get up to the top. Each of the floor plates, unlike a, a normal building, each one is a different size and a different shape, and that the, the size obviously increases as you go up the building. The unusual geometry on the building envelope gave us some real obstacles to overcome. The fact that none of the columns are vertical meant that we had to find ways to connect them and to introduce the different faceting angles into each of these joints. We came up with a clever way of constructing the perimeter steelwork uh, columns whereby we faceted each, each column at every other floor level. Um, so at each two floor increments we changed the direction of the steelwork whereby we had a spigot detail and we dropped the column onto that spigot and, and so on and so forth as, as, as we went up the building. Steel was the, the natural choice for this building for a couple of reasons really. Uh, the first being that with the long floor spans that are required for an office type building, uh, the spans we've got are about 9 metres square but going up to 13 metres. Steel being uh, strong uh, for its weight means that we can um, have long spans designed efficiently with minimum depth to keep the floor to ceiling height that we want. We had to supply 8,000 tonnes of steel to site, around 4,500 pieces. Um, we had to be able to erect it 37 storeys within a 36 week period. We welded up frames to try and minimise the number of lifts on site. We did a lot of coordination via um, BIM modelling with the rest of the design team and other contractors. And we used 4D programming and sequencing analysis to try and understand how the programme would fall out on site and look at any potential changes that might come in. The benefits for the use of steel were many on this building. The main, one of the main ones was the cantilevers we achieved in certain floors. At the upper levels, because we were limited by the spans, uh, we were allowed to cantilever with the steel and it further achieve the actual curve that we were want, wanted to uh, achieve as the main design. Uh, the building is very heavily serviced because of the requirements nowadays for the tenants. They still allowed us to get all this heavy servicing within the beams and not below the beams. I, this allowed us to have the maximum number of floors within the building. And the other element that the steel was, was to a great advantage was the size of the columns. As architects, we always try and reduce the amount of columns and the size of columns within the spaces. The steel, to a certain extent, allowed us to do this in most of the areas. For the Sky Garden, the steelwork played a very important role. It was really the only material that we could use uh, to clear span over 50 metres and yet create a, a light and airy uh, final feeling to the building, which is what the architect wants. Steel has very much contributed to the sustainability of the building as a whole because steelwork generally is about 93% recycled material and there's very little wastage in the first place and any wastage that there is can be recycled. And so that combined with the fact that it's got a high strength compared to its weight means that there is actually quite a low embodied carbon content uh, in the construction of the frame of the building. I think I'm most proud 
from, a, from the engineering side, we did manage to produce a, an efficient and cost-effective design for a building which probably on the face of it initially didn't look like it would be very easy to produce a design for. I'm most proud of the fact that we've achieved it within time, the fact that we respected the design intent of Raphael. I think that's been very important. Uh, he's very critical uh, of his buildings. The roof is fairly spectacular and to be able to have a dinner up um, 175 metres up in the air um, overlooking London, 360 degree views of London. I think that's, that's, that's what makes this building so special.